Hi guys, back with another video, and today I'm going to be making Halloween slime. Now, it's been not a requested video. I'm sorry if you hear a uh, noise in the background. That's my cat's little water fountain and my dishwasher. Um, anyways, um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to be making Halloween slime, and I'm going to show you the ingredients. And shout out, shout out to Matthew Marshak. He has a YouTube channel, and he's been wanting me to do a shout out forever, but I've never really had the time to. So, shout out. Shout out for you, Matt. Okay. Anyways, oh, sorry if I heard a noise in the background. It's my mom's phone. There might be some noises in the background. But anyways, the ingredients and things that you'll be needing. Is first, I'm going to start with the things you'll be needing. You'll be needing a mi mixing tool, a mixing bowl to mix in, some glue, which I'm running out, so I'm going to have to get more. See, that's so much glue as I have. Um, since we're going to make Halloween slime, I have Crayola glitter paint, and I'm going to make it green. I had a purple one, but I have no idea where the purple paint went. So we're just going to have to stick with green. So green paints, foaming soap, which is optional, my activator, which I use the with starch, says. And yeah, so this is just an easy, simple recipe. And if you want to make it a little thicker, you can add baking soda and water together, but I'm not going to add baking soda and water in there, so. so the first thing we're going to need to do is find your bowl, and you're going to pour the glue into your bowl as much or as little as you want, and I'll show you the amount of glue that I add, so you just got to get it. Dry glue off. Cap on my big jug. It's a gallon of Elmer's white glue. And let me pick up the camera. And that's how much glue I have. My bowl covers the whole bottom. There you go. Stay. Okay, stay. So next I'm going to add a couple pumps of my uh, dial or dale. I don't know how to pronounce it. Just foamy soap. A couple of pumps of that. So the pumper stops working and it like turns on all the water. So I'm gonna do it a tiny bit harder. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, so as I just poured it in here. Now, given this the time you're gonna grab your mix tool, mix it. And the key is if you add too much foamy soap. Add more glue and it'll be fine and it won't turn out as a fail. It'll like turn out like really foamy. But I like to add foamy soap because it makes the texture really, really nice and I like that texture that it adds. And yeah. And guys, just letting you know, I might delete some things you don't know about me. Just go check out that video because it says a little too much about me. And parents kind of don't want me, like, you guys know me, like, too much about me. But, like, and guys, it's not slime yet. I'll show you what it looks like after you mix for a little while. Looks like that. It kind of looks the same, but like it's a little foamier. So yeah. Stay. Okay, stay. Sorry guys if you fall down. Now it's for the fuzz part. We get to add your food eyes and my green glitter paint. So guys, there's a little bubble. Oh, I'm just pop. So I'm gonna add about that much and see if I need more. And now it's, I'm going to put the cap on and I'm going to turn the guys back around. Set you guys off. Okay, there we go. So I'm putting the cap on the glue. I meant, not the glue, the paint. And, oh, oh sorry guys, sometimes this thing falls. I'm going to mix this. So sorry guys if you guys so guys, I'm just gonna mix it and show you the finished product and <laughs> mix it. So it starts mixing and it's a pretty good color. Better than I thought. And guys, if you want, 
This doesn't show a lot of glitter if you don't think it does. Um, you can add more glitter if you have glitter, but I only have purple glitter, and that kind of doesn't match the green theme, and I want to be green and simple. And so guys, it's hard to see the glitters, but uh, other than that, it's like perfectly fine. And if you have like regular food color, oh, to let you guys know, it's darker than from the camera, but it's like a really pretty green though, still. So yeah. I really like the slime recipe. I actually made it up myself. It actually works. You guys, I would never really like give you any slime recipe that doesn't work. Only if I'm testing slime recipes that I've never really tried before. Or like some slime recipes that I've seen on Pinterest. Sometimes it just So when you're done mixing, you're gonna add your activator and I would recommend adding it a little bit at a time because it makes the uh texture really good um and this is what turns it into slime so this i think is one of the most funnest things to mix in guys look it starts getting thicker and i love it <laughs> So sorry guys, I haven't been uploading videos lately. An Epic Reviewer, which is Matthew, the one that I get shout out to, he doesn't post much, no offense Matthew, but you need to get posting more. Because there's a lot of ideas that you could do. Like sometimes I just think of random ideas, like my eraser collection. Go check that video out. It's called My Eraser Collection. It's also from my channel, Queen of Pigs. Cause I love pigs, guys, and I love cats. I could be the queen of everything, basically. I could be the queen of you. And if you are new to my channel, you can join the QOP Squad, which stands for Queen of the Pigs. Um. And yeah. So make sure you join that. And all you have to do to be joined until. The notification squad so make sure you subscribe like to this video and make sure notification bells are turned on at all times and make sure you watch my all my videos guys i love all of your love and support and then again some people are giving some mean comments like oh who likes clean and stuff well it's me that likes cleaning because it makes me happy and it makes me feel like no germs are around me. And that's what I like to feel like. I like to feel fresh. That's what people know. So guys, my slime's still a little sticky. So I'm going to add some more Stay Flow or look up starch. I use the gel liquid starch, guys. So it's like different than regular liquid starch or like Stay Flow. I got this one at Wegmans and it actually works. <laughs> and guys, I would recommend mixing and like shaking up your activator before you use it, but I just forgot to do that. So. Guys, look at it. It's turning into slime. And if you want, you can add lotion to make it a little stretchy, which I might do. Starting to come together, guys. Like slime. Come together. Like that. And shout out to one of my friends, Avery Bush, too. He has a YouTube channel, but I forget what it is called. I've never really watched it, but shout out anyway, because he's one of my friends. He's a boy, but he's not my boyfriend. He's not the boyfriend. Matthew Marshak, Epic Reveal, 2008. Not my boyfriend. None of them are my boyfriends. I don't have a boyfriend yet, guys. Do you have a boyfriend? Just kidding. So, guys, look, it's starting to form into slime. And the part where I start mixing with my hands is when it's not sticking to the bowl. Mine's still sticking to the bowl, and that's when I don't like to mix. So, I keep mixing until the slime glob thing doesn't stick to the sides of the bowl anymore. I love this slime 
this because it works so good and it is so safe. And guys, please do not use Borax because some kids have been getting the three degree burns. And it's just terrible to hear that these kids are getting this. Like, slime's not supposed to be harmful. Slime's supposed to be a fun toy to play with. So, please do not use Borax. Use Stay Flow or Tide or Saline Solution and Baking Soda Water. Or use slime recipes that don't even involve an active. Use refrigerator slime or use salt slime. Just please do not use borax though because those three degree burns. Okay guys, so my slime is not sitting on the side of the bowls and I'm gonna need with one hand because if I need to pick up the camera, I need a clean hand. So here's a little piece I'm going to go on. Oh, this is sticky. Oh. Guys, look at it. So, yeah. It's not sticky anymore, but I need honey. So, guys, sorry, I just said I'm not going to use this hand, but recording now I will. Oh, this has a really good texture. And, um, just letting you know, um, if you, another substitute for shaving cream is for me, so, and yeah, so, if you don't have shaving cream, you make fluffy slime, and if you have for me soap, you can use that to make fluffy slime. Guys, it stretches so nice. <laughs> and the bowl just flipped over. Okay. Very good. So guys, look how awesome this stuff is. It's so awesome. And like, let's hear the sounds. Like, I'm gonna let you guys listen to the sounds. Might be hard to hear, but. So some people do not like song. So sometimes you're my friend, sometimes you're not. Cause I am obsessed with song. Like, listen to that. And look at it, like how cool it looks. All right, ghosts. No, I just called you guys ghosts for Halloween. All right, guys. So that is the end for this video. Hope you enjoyed making Halloween slime with me. And yeah, I hope you have a good evening or a good day or whatever time of the day it is. You're watching this. And yes, so. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I hope you enjoyed this. And make sure you subscribe and like this video. And turn on notifications. So, yeah. Bye.